what do we know about sleep and cancer? I will have to say very little, very, very little. Um, I mean, referring to the molecular mechanism, and that's why sleep is one of the biggest scientific uh, mysteries. The goal of our lab is to understand why do we sleep. It may surprise many of you that we actually don't understand the biological reasons as to why we sleep. We just know that it is absolutely essential to survival. And as everybody knows, when you don't get a good night of sleep, it impacts just about everything that you do. If you don't sleep for 24 hours, what are the molecular changes in your brain that makes you feel sleepy? It is more likely that people who develop cancer will have sleep defects or just disrupted sleep during their lifetime. Not getting enough sleep can actually interfere with your general immune response, so you'd be unlikely to fight off basic infections or cellular damage that can then lead to cancer. It's also very common that when people undergo different types of chemotherapy treatments or immunotherapy treatments, that they actually have disruptions during sleep and that can impede your treatment and overall success. Sleep disturbances is uh, one of the big issues uh, in cancer patients. It uh, not only affects the life quality, but also have great implications in immune functions and uh, disease outcomes. People are really starting to look beyond the neuronal circuits that control sleep. So people are finally doing large-scale metabolomics and looking at the effects of fat and transcriptomics to this topic. So I think the field is just finally catching up with um, a lot of the advances that have been made in other fields. So I'm very much looking forward to other people also looking at these, the periphery and its role in sleep. So there'll be just a, a larger community with lots more in data, like there is in the circadian field, for example. In recent years, there are a lot of technology development in the molecular uh, biology side that could be potentially applied to neuroscience um, to help us uh, gain more molecular insight of those neurons. And so now we can use those uh, molecular tools to understand what are the molecular pathways regulating those. And with a deeper insight, um, we hope to understand sleep better and, and solve the sleep problems better. I think it's really important that Damon Runyon funds research outside of the normal therapeutic and molecular ways that people look at cancer because cancer is so much more than the tumor or circulating cells in the body. It truly affects every organ system, all things that you do on a daily basis and funding innovative ways to deal with all of these other things that happen when you have such a terrible disease can improve somebody's mood, it can just make somebody feel better regardless of what's happening inside. And I think that that really is a big proponent to curing somebody's disease.